Hi, it's Anton from Next Place here. I'm in the village of Appleby Magna this morning in Derbyshire to show you around our latest instruction which is known as Bramble Cottage here on Black Horse Hill. So there's the frontage you can just see behind me on a nice lane um, and this property was built in around the late 1700s and converted in the late 1990s into its current form. We have a couple of access points into the property. Uh, the main one being used is this stable door on the side of the kitchen. So as we step into the kitchen breakfast room, we can see we've got a modern style kitchen here with an integrated dishwasher you can just see sticking out there. Um, but also a breakfast bar and we also have a set in here too. As we walk through the kitchen, you can see one of the fantastic features we've got here is a, a Rayburn cooker. Um, and we can also see we've got a gas hob on there as well. As we start from this end of the kitchen and walk backwards, so we'll see just past the door we came in through there, at the rear of the kitchen, the kitchen breakfast room, we've got an, what we've turned on the floor plan as an inner hallway. This is potentially an annex if you've got somebody looking to move in with you. So this room here, which is currently being used as a dressing room, uh, does have uh, plumbing etc. down in the corner just over there for an ensuite, which is the original plan when this was, uh, when this was built. Now all these walls that you can see here are actually only stud walls. So we have got oak beams going over, but all these are only stud walls, so this space could be used as you wish. We've then got single bedroom just through here, with a window out to the side. And as we go to the rear of the property, again, another double bedroom. You can see all the lovely oak work around there with oak flooring. That could potentially be used as a lounge. So this could be a self-contained annex. So as we come back out of the back end of the kitchen, uh, the first door we come to on the left is this wet room, which has been converted. Now you can see, unusually, there is a stable door in there. That used to be the main front door, uh, and this used to be a separate WC. Now what can be done here is that's just been taken down, that wall there, a stud wall could easily be put back up, and the door uh, going through into the dining hall, which we'll come to in a second. So there we have the kitchen. And then we also have a utility area, which has got a uh, gas boiler uh, and also washing machine and tumble dryer. As we make our way through, so in this hallway we've got two options. Number one we can go through to the dining hall or we can go through this door over here and then we've got an excellent size double bedroom. So this would probably be classed as bedroom three. So as we come through to the dining hall We've got stairs going up there to the first floor uh, of the property where it's got two bedrooms and two en-suites. And then we also come through into this lounge diner. So we've got a, a dining table there. That's actually a gas fine or log burner. And also a settee with double doors leading out onto the garden stroke driveway. Let's go and take a look at those stairs. So as we come up the stairs we're greeted by this landing and as you can see there's a single bed up there. That could be an office or just a play area. So we've come up the stairs and we move to the left. This is what we're going to call bedroom one, which has got a good size uh, double bed over there, built in wardrobes into the eaves. And then we also have an ensuite wet room. As we make our way back over the landing, we'll move to the next bedroom. Again, good size. Again, no problem for a double bed in here. Wardrobe space in the eaves again. And then we have an ensuite shower room. So what we've actually got here is a really versatile property. We've got up to six bedrooms, we've got three bathrooms, potentially four, and we've also got great outside space. Uh, where the current owner has a triple garage at the top of the driveway with an office. So let's go and take a look outside. And... So as we make our way up the driveway, what we've actually got here is uh, a nice gravel driveway with bin stores. We've got a lovely low maintenance garden up here too, uh, as we lead all the way up the driveway to the garage. Now at the rear of the property are paddocks which belong to the neighbouring property. Um, now also just a really uh, good note is that we do have access to both Ibstock and Ashby schools here. So a, a great choice uh, depending on where you would like your children to go. So we're now at the top of the garden. 
and here's our garage. So split up into three double doors, it's recently been installed. Uh, the end unit has been converted into an office. So we've got double glazed patio doors leading in there. And we've also got a double glazed window on the inside too. I understand from the current vendor that there is fibre broadband here too, so a great space for working from home. So to summarise, we've got a grey up to six bedroom property here, a potential annex too. We're also very close to Junction 11 of the M42, great links to Leicester, Derby, Nottingham, the M1 and the South or M1 and the North. We've got fibre broadband and an office so ideal for working from home and we're also in great catchment for schools both in Ibstock and Ashby. So if you'd like to come and have a look at this property with us, please give us a call. Our telephone number is 01827 50700 and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.